In this episode of Back to Basics, we talk about the call to action or often just called CTA. Well, hello and welcome back to Brizzy. My name is JP and this is Back to Basics, the course for total beginners who come into the world of website making and have no idea what anyone and everyone is talking about. One of those terms that I first came into contact with when I started building websites decades ago was a CTA or call to action. And it's one of those words that the first time you hear it, everybody use it like everybody should know what it means. I'm going to show you first what is a call to action. On this page, you will see here is a button that says, find your coach. And when I click on that, it's going to take you somewhere where you're going to select someone and it's making you interact with the website. You will see that there is a number of these buttons across the site, but as I scroll to the bottom, you're also going to see that we have a section here where you can subscribe to a newsletter by adding your email address. Further on down, we're going to find a few more like that, share your goal, and then we have a contact form here, and here in the bottom right, we have the newsletter subscribe area again. My good friend Perplexity says, the purpose of a call to action or a CDA in website design is to prompt your visitor to take a specific action that aligns with your website's goals. For example, if you have an e-commerce website, that will be making a purchase. If you want to send out newsletters to people and you want them to give you their email addresses, that's for signing up. Or the situation where you are giving something to people like a PDF, a brochure, and then you have that as downloadable content. That means a call to action is, I call on you to take an action like subscribing, giving me your email address or downloading something. And in return, I give you a newsletter, I give you a product that you've purchased, or I give you something that you've downloaded like a PDF. To have a look at some of the call to actions that you can get via the button, select the button and you will have the link option. Just remember in Brizzy, very important, though the button has all these link options, you're gonna find these link options in text, you're gonna find it on icons, columns, rows, and many places. So it's not only limited to the button. If you want to guide people to another page, the URL is the best way to do this. A pop-up is also another way to bring in a call to action. This adds a little bit of animation and surprise. So when a pop-up suddenly appears on the page, it also includes a form or another form of a call to action that can really stimulate your user to take that action. And the one that I've mentioned previously is the file download section. Now, why would this be a call to action? Many times you want to actually give people more information about your organization, something for free. But that free stuff that you give them actually creates more branding for you and it adds value to your brand. Next time when you are building your website, make sure you use proper call to action wording. Use AI chat to help you with that, like chat GPT, perplexity, whatever. They can all help you in writing good call to actions. Also, you can go to the block section within Brizzy and you will find under blocks the category CTA. Here we have a number. These are dark versions. You can also choose from the light one. So if we choose this one over here, you can see immediately we have these two columns. We find out more and read the story. Great call to actions. Remember to subscribe to YouTube. Also give this video a like, really appreciate that. And I'll see you around.